All right, guys, so this is a quick video. Uh, this really is to see if you understand the point of taking information and filling in the box. Uh, it's something that I think you'll definitely see on step one, two, and three. Um, it's just, again, it's just a matter of taking information, filling in the box, and then from that information, once you get the box filled out, you should be able to answer any question when it comes to sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, and negative predictive value. So make sure you understand this for your step exams. All right, guys, so <clears throat> it says, given this information and the patient's uh, positive test result, what is the probability that this woman has HSV2? Okay, so um, it says, a 27-year-old woman presents to urgent care after testing positive for HSV2 according to a new lab test. <clears throat> of the 500 patients tested, 100 patients had HSV2. Of those, 90 patients had tested positive. 400 patients did not have HSV2, though the test was positive in 20 of them. Given this information and the patient's, and I should say, and the positive test result of the patient, what is the probability that this woman has HSV2? So the lady has <clears throat> a test that's positive, and they want to know what is the probability of that test actually being positive. What are they asking? They're asking the positive predictive value, okay? So... When you see something like this, they're testing your ability really to draw the box, okay? When in doubt, you draw the box. Now, how do we put this stuff in here? We should we always put plus negative, plus negative. It, and it doesn't really matter which one you put, whether it's here or here. You just got to be, in your own mind, consistent. So it says on this one, 27-year-old was positive HSV2. Of the 500 patients tested, 100 had HSV2. So let's just put HSV2 right there on the top, okay? So HS, and these are people who, act, who, who actually have it. These are people who actually do not have it. So there's 500 people tested. So there's 500 people tested. N is 500. 100 had HSV2. So 100 had HSV2. So it's 100 is its entire category. So it's right there, this entire box. 100 people had HSV2. Of those, 90 had a positive test. So let's put test over to the side, okay? I always like to put test over here. So 100 people had HSV2. 90, 90 of those, 90 of those 100 had a positive test. Well, they don't come out and say how many people didn't have a negative test. But if, you know, if everybody in this column is 100 and 90 of them had a positive test, that means there must be 10 who actually had HSV2 who tested negative, okay? Now, it, reads on, it goes on to say 400 patients did not have HS, HSV2. You got to know that that 400 doesn't go in these boxes. That 400 represents the number of people who did not have HSV2, Though the test was positive in 20 of them. So that 20 goes where? Does it go here or here? The 20 had, had a positive test. So that positive, it goes right there. So if 20 of them had a positive test, then how many had a negative test? 380. Now here's the deal. Whenever you complete the box, you can answer any question right. Okay. Now this one they're asking for positive predictive value. But you should be able to answer sensitivity specificity, positive predictive value, and negative predictive value, okay? You should know, but the key to this whole question, the key to this whole deal, the learning point here is, can you take this information and put it in the box? Because, <clears throat> because then solving these is easy, right? Sensitivity, top left going down, so that's 90, right? Whatever we circle goes on top, and the boxes we connect go on bottom, 90 plus 10. Okay, that's 90 over 100 or 90%. Specificity, bottom right going up, 380, um, you know, over 380 plus 20. So 380 over 400. Okay, positive predictive value, top left going to the right, 90 over 90 plus 20. Okay. And then negative predictive value, bottom right, going to the left. 380 over 380 plus 10. Okay? So, in this situation, positive 
positive print values here goes here. Now, I'm telling you, don't just eyeball it. Don't just estimate this on the exam. Because what do you want to, what are you kind of leaning toward? Oh, 90 over 110, it's got to be close to 90%, right? No, if you actually took the calculator, now the calculator is going to be on the top right of your, your, your um, computer system, but if you actually did 90 divided by 110, you know, you get 9 over 11, and that's actually going to be closer to 0.818 or 0.82 or 82%. Okay? Guys, this is a very important problem to know in biostats. They're testing your ability to fill in the box, okay? You gotta just run through this in your mind again. Play it over, play the video over, and make sure you understand this is just N, and then you gotta group it. HS, the tet, <coughs> there's gonna be something, some type of condition right here that they either have or don't have, and then always put test for my purposes. I always like to put test over here and then you can just fill in the box. And once you fill in the box, you should be able to answer any question that they ask. Now, if you're lucky, they're gonna give you the box on step one. But neither here nor there, you should be able to fill in the box with this type of information, okay? It's very important that you understand this for step one, two, and three. So, hope it helps, guys. Mm -hmm.